Hi, Virgo, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 31st to September 6, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well, my beautiful Virgos. Happy birthday to all the Virgos out there. Uh, I wish you an abundance of just anything that your heart desires. I hope that it manifests in your life, and I hope you enjoy your birthday. Now, uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into my usual, uh, you know, intro. Uh, I do want to say that there's a contest that I'm doing now with all the elements. Okay, so uh, you notice now I changed the way I do my readings, it's, which is day one, it's uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Day two, which is an earth energy. Day two is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Day three is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And day four is fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now, how this contest is, so the people, if you want to be first in the reading as an element, not as a sign, but as an element, you have to like the most, share it the most, comment, comment the most, and view it the most. So if you do that, okay, and, and you come first again, then you get a free reading after the, the weekly reading. So let's say I do your reading from Monday to th uh, Thursday, they're the weeklies, then on the weekend, I will do a random reading for the people that want in the earth element. Let's say it's earth element, fire element, water element, whoever comes first gets a free reading. So I'm pretty excited about that. I also want to say one more thing is that my mom uh, will continue to pray for all of you. If there's a specific prayer that you need, please leave it in the, the comments. And um, she says, thank you for all the beautiful um, words that you share with her. And I'm also very grateful for all of you here, my beautiful Virgos, and let's get started with your reading. So, okay. I'm going to take out the Romance Angels, and I'm going to shuffle with the cards twice. One, two. So, let's see what card comes up for you. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> uh, then you have the Angel cards. My beautiful Virgos. Okay. You have your card here. Then Archangel Raphael. Hold on a second. There's a card here. Okay, then you have the Sacred Soulmates. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, carefully choosing your card. Hmm. Okay, one card out. Then your affirmation of the week. What's your affirmation of the week for you, Virgos? There we go. And last but not least, I took I'm gonna take a universe card. I used to use them before. I wanted to bring them back because they're always fun to have. There you go. Let's look at your affirmation of the week and its service. It says here, I feel good when I can help others. I feel good when I can help others. So this is your card. Let's see what the angels have to say to you. Books. And it says, your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritual-based books. It could also mean that some of you are reading books at this time. Something like that. Or it's you are supposed to be writing a book. Archangel Raphael is saying, healer saying you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. 
It goes well with your affirmation of service. Archange, uh, the romance angels say that it, you're, you're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations at this time. And it's honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And the sacred drama... Uh, I always say sacred drama, I mean, sacred soulmates card is reflect. And it says here, we attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? So a, a reflection. We attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? That's a question for you to answer. And the universe says, no two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. So no two flowers are the same, yet all beautiful in their own way. So this is your card. And in the back here, there's a little uh, note. It says, Comparison, comparisons are odious because they presume all other things are equal, which is never the case between me and you, the universe. All right. So this is your card. Now let's get into your reading. Which cards? Okay. So I do have a new deck. I've been have. I have, I think... It's been like four or five years I have this deck and I haven't used it and I'm using it for the earth element. So uh, this reading is for Virgo Sun, but anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart, this is your reading. Remember, this is a general reading and if it does not resonate, always look at your ascendant, which is your rising, moon, which is your emotions, and Venus is about love, okay? But if it does resonate, claim it. Now, uh... Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. And I'm going to show you where you are at, what is opposing you, like, and, like, opposing you. What the Spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, your goals, what's coming towards you, your external influences, uh, and uh, where you, um, and what Spirit wants you to know, and your um, future. And I will clarify the cards. And at the end of that, I also want to give you your Animal Totem card. Your sacred geometry card, your crystal card, and last but not least, a new deck that I want to share with you is Beyond Lumeria. Beautiful artwork. And let's get started with your reading, Virgos. I'm pretty excited to be here with you. I hope that you're all doing well. So let's get started. Just need a bit of space here. Okay. There's a card that overturned, but it did not fall. But I'm going to show it to you. You got the elephant, but it did not fall. So I'll put it back, okay, until it falls. Okay, so. All righty. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you the cards in a second. Sorry about that. I live on a very busy street. card that overturned okay overall energy you've got the emperor energy aries energy this could also be uh, the retrograde that's coming in 
in Mars on the 9th of the 9th, okay, uh, this talks about um, commitment, stability, uh, maybe in a business. Uh, this could also talk about um, um, <clears throat> setting up new rules and boundaries and having everything under control. Or this could be a father figure energy as well. Where you are now, you are at the high priestess. Trust your intuition, my beautiful Virgos. This talks about insights, dreams, visions coming through, tapping into your wisdom, okay? Uh, and uh, at this time, a lot of you, your uh, spiritual psychicness, your psychicness will be very strong, okay, around the month of your birthday. What is crossing you is the magician, and that means the magician talks about... Uh, Alchemy talks about having all the elements here to make all your dreams and wishes come true so you can manifest very quickly. What Spirit wants you to focus on is this King of Cups energy. This could be you in energy, okay? Uh, being emotionally available, being stable with your emotions, or you're dealing with someone that is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that is emotionally available. In the recent past, you got the Justice card. This could be talking about, um, this is about uh, standing in your truth, integrity, uh, balancing something that got balanced in your life it could be a court thing if it's for court for some of you standing in your truth and integrity uh, maybe you're dealing with a Libra energy it could also talk about where you're balancing some of you are balancing your light and shadow duality as well yeah something is coming or something already has taken that form what's above you is the three of swords energy this is the only card that I see that is a bit uh, different for you uh, in the reading. And the Three of Swords talks about your heart chakra. So your heart chakra needs healing. Talks about a breakup, a heartbreak. Um, something here that needs to be mended. Mended. So a heart chakra. The heart chakra needs mending. What's coming towards you is the hermit. You came into your own reading, Virgo. It's a time to retreat. It's a time to go within, to follow your own path. It's about uh, taking time to meditate, taking time for yourself uh, from the chaos, from the world, okay? And, uh, well, yeah, and uh, following your own path, okay? Following your own path. In the seventh position of where you are at, you are at the Eight of Pentacles energy. So you're working on a project. This could be a project that you've been working on, uh, something that you're working in detail, okay? And, uh, like, every pentacle, like, that you, okay, see, it could be money, or it doesn't have to be money, but whatever, if it's a project, let's say every pentacle would be, like, a year, maybe, or, okay, just to give you an example, so let's say this pentacle, you did it, you didn't really like it, so you went to the next one, and you refined this one, that you didn't like that one either, then you went to that one, and now you are, the, the where you are at is, that like you want, you're, you're trying to claim the ten of pentacles, some of you are trying to manifest the ten of pentacles, okay, uh, of stability, uh, this talks about some of you are wanting to give up on a situation and they're asking you not to. What is around you and uh, what is the external influences is the lover's card. So this is a Gemini energy. It doesn't have to be. This is uh, Archangel Raphael that's bringing. This is a very magnetic connection. This is a twin flame. This is usually my twin flame card. It could be a lover card. It could be a soulmate. And let's say some of you say, well, I'm single. I don't have anybody. Well, there is someone coming in here. 100%. I do see it. Okay. It's a very strong magnetic attraction here. Very strong. Now, in your hopes and fears, you got the King of Wands energy. So the King of Wands could be a, uh, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be. Um, maybe this is uh, someone here that... Uh, usually the King of uh, Wands... Okay, look at the card. Very beautiful cards, right? The King of Wands usually is a type of energy. Now, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. They usually go after what they want. Okay, sometimes it's also ego-based in here. There's a small ego-based energy here. And they usually go after what they want. And they don't take no for an answer. But this is in the hopes and fears. Some of you wish to be in this type of energy, right? And then the last card you got is the King of Swords energy. So it's about seeing things clearly. A lot of you are detached or you have someone around you that detached, okay, is uh, acting like standoffish. Um, it's about seeing things clearly. It's about having compassion as well. It's about also, uh, you know, any situation that comes along, you're, you're able to see like um, a solution towards it. Okay? So let's, and it could be an Aquarius Libra, a Gemini, it doesn't have to be. But let's look at what's going on here. So now I'm going to use other cards to clarify these cards. Okay? Let's, uh, I just have to shuffle them a bit.
cards in three. Okay, let's look at the High Priestess together here. These are about dreams, visions that are coming through. Okay. Got the Ace of Pentacles. The Hangman reversed. The Ten of Swords reversed. The Sun reversed. And the Two of Wands. A lot of reversals. So uh, there is some type of gift or money that's coming in or some type of uh, energy here where there's a new beginning that's starting, uh, that's taking place for you. A new beginning. This could be in a job or a relationship. With the hangman reverse is that you surrender to something. to something that you were sacrificing a long time and you got yourself out of the loop of a situation. Okay, so uh, it's like you move forward from the maybe a place where you were feeling that you were... Because uh, most of the time... <laughs> this talks about when it's upright is that you're in the cocoon stage where you're not seeing something you're like you know before you turn into a butterfly a lot of you uh got yourself in out of the loop or surrendered to a situation and there's also some type of missed opportunity as well is what they're saying here okay the ten of swords reverse talks about where thoughts anything that you have been going through will be evading you so there's a big this, this is i feel that this took place in the recent past but they're still showing me here that there's something that got removed from you or you removed yourself from some situation here okay and the sun reverse talks about a delay there's a delay that's taking place in your life there's a delay or a detour that's taking place but i do see here uh is an energy of uh Two people coming together and sharing a vision there's a great there's a bigger picture here than uh, what is happening right now in your reality there's some type of bigger picture uh or some of you are feeling left out of a situation where you were supposed to go forward because you, if you notice the card the person is alone uh, and they're looking outside right and no one is holding the other uh wand here right but it does show that uh there is an energy here where there was a bigger picture Let's look at the uh, magician here. Oh, actually, no, before I even go there, let me just take an extra card for the hangman reversed, the ten of swords reversed, and the sun reversed. Again, you got the high priestess card in the same place. Okay, so uh, this is uh, you're trusting your intuition. Uh, this talks about dreams and visions. Uh, your spiritual gifts are going to enhance. Some of you are psychic here. Maybe you don't even know, but you are psychic. Or the energy of this high priestess is coming in to show you your wisdom here. Okay? Now, let's look at the magician together. God, there's so many cards. They're so reversed. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to look. I'm going to show them to you. But I'm going to put them back in the deck because there's too many cards. But... What I see here is that there is an energy here towards Virgo or Capricorn. Maybe this is you moving forward towards a, a job or a person and you're taking your time. Uh, energy, uh, this could be a job, like I said, or a person coming in for you. Or this is you going towards a person, but you're taking your time. And with the Hermit Reverse, it's like about isolation. You're not going within. You're not going within. You're not going within to tap into your wisdom. You're not going within to, an to get the answers you need. It talks about loneliness. It talks about your loneliness. It talks about, uh, you know, not going within here and not, not doing the things that you need to do. Like maybe some of you, uh, because if it would be a pride, we'll talk about like uh, meditation and stuff like that. Okay. And a lot of you at this time uh, are releasing uh, thought patterns that were negative with the five of swords reversed. And there's a lesson here with the elephant. Maybe you're dealing with someone traditional, but there's an also there's a, a, an element of um, a lesson here and a new paradigm shift that's taking place. There was some type of drastic change that took place. If it's for you or another person, there is a uh, um, afraid of change, fear of change, clinging to the past, and something that did not come to fruition in the way that you wanted to. Right, and these are too many cards for me to use. So I'm gonna put them back into the deck and see if they come back out, they come back out, it's yours. But I usually take three cards, okay? So I got the full card, the three of cups reversed, the queen of pentacles and the nine of wands. That's what your cards are, okay? So you're, you manifested a new beginning and it's taking place. You are being divinely guided here. You are being divinely guided. You're trusting your intuition. The three of cups reversed is at this time, maybe you're not feeling 
I don't know, maybe some of you are missing your friends. Your friends are not around you. Uh, because the Three of Cups usually talks about where you're in the community, you're with your friends and family, just or friends, okay, and joy and happiness. And this time, that's not what you're feeling. Some of you uh, are very frustrated at this time in your journey. You're seeing the signs. You want to go to the Ten of Wands where there's an ending that you're tired. There's like a lot of tiredness here. But it's also, I feel, uh, blocking. There's an energy of someone blocking. It's like, or you're blocking yourself or someone blocked you. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. A lot of you are concentrating on your finances at this time, I feel. Um, I'm also picking up like very grounded, um, you know, very reliable security, materials met, like material uh, satisfaction guaranteed you're like there's something here some of you are manifesting to work on your finances here okay now let's look at the king of cups this is what spirit wants you to focus on why is the king of cups here you got the ten of pentacles that's nice the seven of cups reversed Okay. The Hermit card. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. The Eight of Cups reversed. And the Knight of Pentacles. Righty. Well, from the Eight, what they want you to focus on is uh, if you're dealing with a King of Cups energy, whether this is you or another person, there was a Ten of Pentacles. This talks about stability. Uh, this could be in a business, in a partnership here for some of you someone that was in, that is emotionally available uh or two people coming in together that have separate families that are coming in together um yeah it talks about feeling abundant if that, uh, this could be also unexpected money large sum of money coming your way inheritance money uh it could also talk about like uh, feeling contented as well okay so stability here this is like it's nice to have the stability here and the Seven of Cups reversed is that some of you are not dreaming big. Some of you don't think that you need to dream big. Okay. And Spirit says that you need to dream big. Okay. Maybe do a vision board. And a lot of you are around this time, your birthday time, you're going within and following your own path. This is taking time out of chaos, uh, whatever, on the outside world and following your own path. A lot of you are meditating. A lot of you are dealing with another Virgo energy here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you're not reevaluating. Look at that. The two sevens reverse 77 here. Okay. You're not reevaluating something. There's something that you're not taking the time to reevaluate. Re Maybe it's to see how far you've come. You're not looking into that. And the Eight of Cups reverse is that you're going to overcome the situation. Whatever that you walked away from or whoever walked away from you, Virgo, I feel that this person or if this is you will overcome these emotions. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel if this is you, Virgo, you're moving towards something, a new job, a new opportunity, a new relationship, whatever it is. And uh, the Nine of Pentacles are usually people that have your back. They're really good people to have, okay, as a friend, even as a lover, as a, a, in a relationship, or even as a partnership. I mean, business partnership. They usually bring blessings with them. Now, let's look at the Justice card in the recent past here, Virgo. You got the Ace of Cups reversed, the King, the Knight of uh, Cups reversed. Okay. Okay, let's see what that card is. And the King of Cups. So you got the King of Cups twice here. Okay. Uh, so the King of Cups is uh, the same. You got two King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be you, uh, or maybe your emotions were uh, at that time uh, were uh, balanced, or you were dealing with someone like that. Okay. And But what I see with the Ace of Cups reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse is that someone was not emotionally available for you. There's a relationship that did not take off in the way that you wanted to. It also talks about October of uh, September, October of 2020. Some of you are cuspers here too. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask for an extra card for the Knight of Cups reverse. Someone... Okay, that was fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, some of you were feeling stuck in a situation. Uh, but if you look at this picture, you see the woman here. And when she looks into the mirror, she sees that she's stuck and her thoughts are all over the place. But in reality, they, you were not stuck. Okay? It's the way you saw things. And some of you were juggling two people or two different things. You were juggling, uh, maybe pulling, being pulled in two different directions. 
okay and it's there's a need to be grounded here and with the star card here it shows me that uh, inspiration is coming back for you uh, this is a healing and a blessing that's taking place maybe you're dealing with an aquarius energy it's like having faith your faith will be restored some of you are going to be going through this or are, have been going through this or will be going through this now let's look at the three of uh swords energy here because uh this is heartbreak that's sad you got the four of uh swords you got the chariot reversed hmm. and the king of pentacles reversed so if someone's unstable here whether in finances or uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, it doesn't have to be the sign. Uh, but someone is unstable, maybe in money or just unstable in their feelings at this time with the Three of Swords energy. Uh, there is some type of break that is needed to rest, to recuperate, and to heal your heart chakra. And some of you were dealing here with a Cancer or Sagittarian energy because uh, the Chariot card is about not taking control of a situation. Okay, you're you were not or you did not or will not be taking control of a situation. Let's look. Yes, again. Okay, here uh, this card just uh, was. Un it must have fell while I was shuffling. So you got the justice card twice. So something is going to come back into balance for you, uh, Virgos. And I say this September, October. A lot of you are cuspers here, or yeah, some of you are cuspers here. Something is going to come into balance. Truth. Okay, some truth will be revealed to you. Integrity, things will be in balance. Your light shadow, duality. Uh, everybody, everybody will be treated fairly. But right now, there's a timeout. If there's a timeout to heal, is what I'm seeing here. Now, let's look at the Hermit card. This is your card. The Nine of Swords reversed, the Five of Cups reversed, the Strength card, the Six of Cups, and the Two of Swords reversed. Okay, so a lot of you are going within in the near future because you need to go within to find your own wisdom, to follow your own path. You need time out. A lot of you are, one, are going to meditate because you need to heal because a lot of you are healing at this time. The Five of Cups reverse means that you're going to overcome these emotions, okay? So that's good news. You're going to come over, overcome these emotions. And the Five of Cups, what spirits tell me is there is some type of reconciliation. doesn't mean it's a reconciliation. It could be a closure that maybe you need. And the Knight of Swords energy, if it's you that needs to reach out to someone you're not, or someone's not reaching out to you in the way that you want, okay? And this is someone from your past. This could be a soulmate energy. This could be a twin flame energy because I do have the lover's card here or a lover Someone from your past. You're remembering, you're remembering the good times. And uh, some of you uh, had me, did make a decision or have made a decision with the Two of Swords. You, uh, so you lifted the veil. There's some, you lifted the veil. Okay, look at the card. She has a, a veil over her eyes. Okay, and so she, he or she, you guys removed it and uh, maybe you were at crossroads and you made a decision here. There is a decision that was made. And some of you made the decision in the month of August of 2020 or you're dealing with a Leo energy. And this is about maybe even a decision for yourself where you uh, went on, when, uh, from Leo energy, Leo season, August 22nd, I think, before it entered into uh, Virgo season. Some of you are dealing with cuspers of... Uh, Virgo and Leo, Leo, Virgo, okay, or around that time, you found the courage and the strength to tame something within you, okay, and uh, let's say it was an injury, you overcame that, if it's not, you weren't feeling good, you overcame that, but whatever it is, it's something that you tamed within yourself, there's a lot of peacefulness here, some type of healing that took place for you, okay, now let's look at the Eight of Pentacles here, Eight of Pentacles, you got the eight of wands, so eight, eight, the eight of wands, energy, there's a lot of messages, passionate messages, past paced messages coming in about work, you know, uh, a lot of messages back and forth, short distance travel, I got here, the five of swords reversed, so, okay, and, uh, okay, uh, the three of swords reversed, that's good, the page of pentacles reversed, and the four of wands, let me look at these cards with you. So you got the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of maybe messages coming in about work for you. 
okay back and forth messages a lot or just a lot of messages coming in uh, with the five of swords reversed it talks about where a lot of you are um whatever you're thinking like whatever that was negatively that you were thinking about is was is being removed from you uh this could also whether also this card also talks about many other different things um if you are in a relationship or you are in a marriage for some of you i see that um there's been a lot of comfort comforting uh bullying fighting taking place it's 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 diminishing uh and with the page of pentacles reverse there's something that is not stable here something that took place that was not stable usually the page of pentacles talks about something that is a beginning of some type of stableness and this refers to the first part of your reading this is you with the first part of your where you're at okay and with the three of swords energy reversed is that some of you are going to heal that heart chakra of yours okay it's overcoming the the hurtness but i feel that some of you it's going to there's some type of something else that's taking place here for you with the four of wands reversed there's some type of proposal here that's taking place a uh, happiness in the home celebration or an event that will be taking place in the home beautiful now let's look at the lovers cards the external for forces and what spirit wants you to know okay nine of cups reversed the emperor you got the emperor twice one upright one reversed and the page of cups reversed Hmm, there's a lot of cards reversed here. So dreams that were fulfilled with eight lovers, energy, twin flame, soulmate, lover, whatever it is for you. And uh, some type of emotional experience that did not take place in the way that it should have. And with the Emperor Reverse, it talks about some type of surrendering that took place. It could be Aries energy. This is probably going to take place around, uh, like when I said, Mars goes in retrograde. I'm going to take an extra card because those are three cards that are reversed. Let's look at that. Okay, why is the Nine of Cups here reversed with the Page of Cups reversed, the Emperor reversed? Okay, this card. cards are tricky today. Okay, so, and the Lover's card. So why is the Lover's card here with the Page of Cups reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, and the Emperor reversed? I feel that someone is emotionally unstable here. It's, like, it's also about not having everything under control as well in the way that you thought, maybe. you got the Ace of Wands and the Moon reversed. Okay. That's good when the Moon is reversed. Okay, so 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 there was maybe some type of um, illusion around you. Uh, this is Neptune energy because Neptune also is in retrograde right now. Something came to illumination for you. This talks about releasing your fears. Some of you are releasing those, those fears or you're, there's a breakthrough that you're going through. Whatever passage that you were going through, uh, Virgo, you are you released it. And this is a, you're going to be getting a lot of unusual dreams. And this is going to take place around this full moon that we're going to have right now, September 1st or 2nd, depending where you live. You're going to get strong visions and dreams. And I think some of you are going to be getting that from this lover's card, whoever this lover's card is for you, okay? Piscean energy and the ace of wands talks about passion reunited passion within you something is sparking within you some type of passion inspiration beautiful now let's look at the king of wands energy here i love that card as the king of wands beautiful card okay let's look at this king of wands energy You got the seven of wands energy very nice okay <laughs> the five of wands the judgment reversed and the nine of swords okay mm. well this talks about that you're going to rise above the situation whatever it is whether it's energy people or situation you are going to rise above it a lot of you are going to are going to be really serious about meditating here i really feel it because there's a bubble around you and you're going to be rising up okay uh this talks about uh, being scattered, lost of focus, being lost, okay, energy scattered. It talks about being in many different directions here. Uh, this talks about where uh, maybe there's a lot of fighting or drama 
and a lot of you are like fed up of it you're gonna rise above it because from the five you went to the seven of wands okay so you will rise above the situation and there's some type of judgment that was made maybe you did the judgment virgo or something that was supposed to come in faded did not take place in a way and a lot of you are not sleeping at night okay you're worried you don't sleep at night okay there's a uh, you're worried you're you're worried a lot um and worry is it really a waste of time i feel like there's a lot of like dark thoughts dark emotions that are taking place yeah uh, hmm. okay uh, well i asked <laughs> I, I asked why the nine of swords was there in my mind <laughs> so i didn't say it out loud but what it came out is that some of you um are not in balance here maybe uh dealing with a sagittarian energy doesn't have to be this talks about duality it talks about light and shadow this talks about moderating your life but not only your life this is your body mind and spirit uh some of you made a rash decision here virgo there's a rash decision that took place okay uh, about your future because at one point you were looking into the future with, uh, with optimism and here it shows me that a lot of you uh, made a rash decision or you fear that you made a rash decision and with the queen of because uh, now i got the king and queen of swords reversed uh, you were dealing with someone maybe that had this energy uh libra such uh, no sorry libra aquarius and gemini it doesn't have to be this could be you where or it's you or someone that you were dealing with that was a high priestess that saw the truth and everything saw the truth saw the lies is able to cut off or this could be you that did this okay so now let's look at this king of swords energy the king of swords is not the same as the queen of swords they're more compassionate but at the same time they're very standoffish very detached maybe some of you are detached at this time you got the queen of cups so you're detached from a queen of cups energy so you got the king of swords the queen of cups the queen of cups and the king of cups you got it here too so king and queen of cups you got the king oh, okay now i don't remember so let's look at the king of swords the queen of cups energy the empress reversed so i got the emperor and the empress both are reversed here something that did not come to fruition there's someone around you uh virgo maybe it's a friend or um a family member around you uh, you're gonna hear about a pregnancy others of you something did not come to in, to fruition a death and rebirth was not taken or this, uh, there was not a, a, some type of opportunity uh stability new opportunities did not come in okay um uh, so with the king of swords someone is detached maybe you're detached from a, a person uh or you're dealing with someone or someone detached from you you're dealing with a, a queen of uh, cups energy cancer scope your pisces energy doesn't have to be but this is someone that is also very psychic is also very psychic is also very nurturing motherly figure here very uh you know look at her okay she's all the elements and uh, like i said uh with the empress reverse maybe you're dealing with a mother energy here uh as well taurus energy i could also mean like like i said pregnancy you're gonna hear about some type of pregnancy virgo or uh it's are also uh, <laughs> sorry opportunities that did not come into place in the way okay and with the five of pentacles uh five of pentacles right someone's feeling left out of the situation feeling in the dark of a situation feeling that you don't have enough and with the nine of pentacles here it shows me that a lot of uh, some if you were in a relationship you're going to be single okay it also talks about your self-worth it's about uh, you also because you got the 10 you did get the 10 of pentacles okay but remember you have to think positive right to get that 10 of pentacles so this talks about self-care self-love talks about where you could take time off and just enjoy the labors of uh, like the labors like just enjoy like it's like uh, you know taking time to smell the flowers or it's about also being in nature something about being in nature as well i'm going to just take one extra card what is he what does this whole thing mean here someone's feeling left out that's for sure okay and 
Look at that. You got the king of... <laughs> you got the king of swords twice. So someone is definitely detached from someone completely. There's a detachment here. Okay? They're looking into the past, though. They're not looking in front of them. Yeah. Scorpio energy uh, could be uh, fear of change. This talks about fear of change. Resisting. Resisting change. Death and rebirth. There's some type of resistance here. Okay. Now let's look at the emperor. And your overall energy. Oh God. How many cards is this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You also got the ten of cups. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. There's a lot of emotions in this relationship or marriage or whatever it is here. Okay, it's not that emotions stay in one thing, go up and down, up and down. It's normal. This talks about contentment, being happy in the home, family. Okay, soulmate energy here. And uh, there is some type of completion that took place in your life. Okay, so coming full circle, learning your life lessons. Travel is indicated. Uh, a pause before you start a new beginning. And uh, what I see here. Is the devil reverse? Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn energy. This could talk about some type of freedom, some type of divorce as well for some of you. Uh, what else does it mean? It means that for some of you, you uh, if you are addicted to something, addicted to substances, alcohol, could be food, could also be like watching videos, <laughs> YouTube videos, uh, whatever that you were bonded to, uh, there's some type of, whatever difficulties you went through, you, you challenged, you unchained the fears, you removed everything. And you have freedom. It's beautiful. And whatever you give, you're going to receive. And things will be in balance. But some of you, with the Seven of Swords energy, you're someone, or this is you, okay, uh, Virgo. Or you're dealing with a father figure or an Aries energy here. Or this could be you, who knows, or a boss. I don't know. Uh, someone is trying to get away with something. So I want to look at the Seven of Swords. Or it's you, you have withhold in, you withheld information. From someone, or this is someone that's withholding information. I'm just going to take one, one more card. And, yeah, so, wow, you are overtired and overburdened with the Ten of Wands energy. Like, and the Six of Swords reverse. A lot of you are not speaking your truth, are not saying something where you're really overburdened here, okay? Like, so much on your shoulders, but it's a ten, right? There's an ending, but at the same time, with the six of swords reversed, it's showing me that some of you are stagnant in this type of energy. Okay, like you're in a difficult place right now, very difficult, and you're not saying anything to anyone. You're withholding the information. Uh, you're withholding information, and usually the, the six of swords talks about like going through a transition from a difficult place to a better place. A lot of you, or you want to relocate or move, and that's not taking place. I'm just gonna take one extra card. And then uh, we'll call it quits. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords reversed? What is the end result of this? There we go. Some type... Oops. There we go. Sorry about that. Some type of closure... The tower is something something happened unexpected here. Drastic change. Some type of closure. Hmm. Yeah. But this was in the past tense. But then it's not that it's happening now. Okay. Yeah, something took place here. Okay, you got the magi magician twice. That means that you can manifest anything you want. But your thoughts have to be positive. Whatever that took place, it took place in the past with the um, with the, um, the tower reversed. Okay, it happened in the past. Okay, past tense. And with the Knight of Wands energy, some of you are feeling restless. Some of you are wanting to be spontaneous, to have adventures. There's someone that's coming in and out of your life, or this was you. And something broke that is what I feel. And one more card. I know I'm taking on one more card because I want to know what the hell what this is all like just an overall energy of all those cards together. Okay. Okay. Again, you got the king of wands. You go after what you want. From a knight, maybe you became a king of wands energy. Whatever it is, you should go after what you want. Okay, there's ego based here. Um 
some of you are dealing with a Leo. And underneath the deck is there's a lesson here. Okay? Uh, you were dealing with someone that was traditional. Uh, this is about you following your own path to spirituality or the light or, you know, stair the staircase here to the light. It also talks about a spiritual lesson or lesson. Or, and it talks about also where there's a new paradigm that's opening up for you. So that's really nice to see that. And yeah, so you're going to see things very clearly. You're going to see things very clearly eventually. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo. Again, happy birthday to all of you. I wish you all the best. I send you all abundance. I, I That's what I wish, that you get an abundance, abundance, love, peace, happiness, joy. Okay, and you spend your birthday with somebody that you care about. And uh, for those of you that are not staying for the Oracle cards, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. And uh, for those, and uh, know that I have your back and I love you. And for those of you that are staying, I'll be back in two seconds. Let's look at your animal totem of the week. It's for Virgo from August 31st to September 6th. Too many cards. One card, please, for Virgo. One animal totem for Earth. Virgo, please. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, Everybody, your cards always want to come out in a bunch. So let's see what your animal totem is. You got the swan. Oh, that's beautiful. Swan energy. There you go. It's water energy. Effortlessly, effortless creativity, sensi sensitive mystic, uh, mystic, and elegant power. There you are. The swan represents heightened creativity. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Sara, 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 sorry, Saraswati, <clears throat> the embodiment of language, creativity, and artistry, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there, to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. This potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken taken lightly. When the swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention, for solo time. An inner voice is waiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to be revealed. When you're in balance, you're infinite and creative and powerful. When you're out of balance, you are agitated, snippy, and lacking vision. And to bring into balance, solo time and writing. So uh, your animal totem is a swan. And to bring something into balance, you need alone time and writing. So the swan energy is with you. That's beautiful. Now let's look at uh, your sacred geometry. I didn't even take. Okay, one more time. This is for Virgo energy. Virgos. All right. Oops. <laughs> All right. Um, you got number 19. You got unconditional love. Your affirmation is, I am open. I open my heart to allow love of self and others. I open my heart to allow love of self and others. Okay, so uh, uh, Okta Hedron has come to you today to remind you how beautiful and loving you are. It is here to tell you that to fully give and love others, we first and foremost have to love and honor ourselves. When our heart is balanced, we live our life with loving kindness and compassion toward others. We emit love and warmth, which allows, which, no, sorry. We emit love and warmth, warmth, which others can feel and are attracted to and feel at peace around. You are coming from a place of love without judgment. Universally, love is seen as a number one attribute to keeping our world a better place, free from war, anger, hatred, and misuse of power. Love is the unifying force that will change the face of the world and ultimately change the energy and vibration in which we live. So your practical application of this card is 
When we are open to loving, especially ourselves, we are then able to connect to the true essence of who we are, that is, our soul. We can then follow our heart's every desire and truly connect to all. Immerse yourself in colors of green and pink when needing to work with this center. Carry and sleep with carry and sleep with rose quartz, absorbing 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 the vibration of love. Read daily affirmation relating to love and read the ones you choose at least three times each to allow the words to sink into your psyche. Take five minutes each day and look at yourself in the mirror. Truly see your amazing beauty. Go shopping once in a while and spoil yourself with a gift you deserve. Allow others to help you and give, give some nurturing back to yourself. The card numerology is a four and the crystals that you will need is a rose quartz. So rose quartz and use the colors pink and green. Beautiful card. Now, you're, let's look at your... Oops. Your, whoops. I don't know why this angel keeps... I'm going to put it here just in case I drop it. Okay. My mom gave me this. So <laughs> let's look at uh, your crystal of the week. Apophia. Apophilia. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Apophilite. Apophilite. So you got Apophilite. I hope I'm pronouncing it well. This is your card. Here we go. Beautiful crystal. Stay positive. Keep your head up and your hopes high. Instead of focusing on the things that can go wrong, it's important to focus on all the things that can go right. Direct your attention to all the positives in your life and allow them to motivate you. Stay grateful in the moment. Allow yourself to be excited about a, pro a prospect or opportunity. Why ruin all the fun with second guessing and what ifs? A positive mindset, once centered on hope rather than fear, can overcome almost anything. Where your attention goes, energy flows. Let it flow toward positive. So the core questions for you are, when do you feel the most positive? Question mark. What aspects of your life are good? Question mark. And how would it feel to focus only on the positives? Question mark. And your affirmation is, I live in a state of positivity. You can use this for the whole week. I live in a state of positivity today. Raise your vibration by focusing on the good things that happen throughout your day. So this is a, a crystal that you uh, could use this week or as long as you need it. And now we're going to look at Beyond Lumeria. These are my... I love these cards. Beautiful artwork. Okay. And let's take out a card for you. Virgo. It's Virgo on a collective. All right. Hmm. You got number 32. So let's look at number 32 together. Hmm. All right. Look at your beautiful card. Look how beautiful this card is. Oh, <laughs> it's really pretty. Internal Explorer. Okay, so the key words are here are flow state, accessing infinite information by going within, wisdom from the collective consciousness, that thought waves, channeling, breaking free from limiting, limiting in intellectual, Creative boldness, being guided by divine spark, you already hold the keys, Virgo. When we stop looking outside ourselves and surrender to a soft inner focus, we have access to unlimited information and resources. When we stop thinking with the glass ceiling of our intellect, we have access to multidimensional wisdom from the collective consciousness. Have you ever felt in total flow? Question mark. Perhaps when speaking about something profound that you have total faith in, you have heard your words accurately unfold question mark at other times when you have doubt you must you must watch your words and they come out disjointed only hinting at what you are trying to say now sh this lady who wrote this she talks about her journey for a second in my journey as an artist i found i was able to paint more skillfully than i imagined when i stopped thinking or tightly controlling my images into being this was especially so when i was starting out by getting out of my own way, I could get into a flow that's, that felt like something else was guiding my paintbrush. This is known as a flow state card. 
Uh, this is known as the flow state and is said to be the optimal state for higher function. When in deep flow state, it can seem as if something else is guiding me. Perhaps it was my higher self. People often ask whether I have a strong concept of what I will paint before I start. I do have a half-formed idea, but the state I find myself in when I paint allows the rest of the image to form itself. I don't try to control it too much. When I allow myself to really go there and listen to the whispers that guide the journey, it gives my, more soul to my pieces. These are the creations that people most resonate with, the ones that prompt a mysterious sense of remembering. So it says here, you may have read quotes about being far more amazing than you realize. There's an infinite, infinite part of us that God, that is God or goddess or whatever you want, you wish to call it. And when we attune to our divine state, we really can do anything we apply ourselves to. Everything is there within you waiting for expression. So the divine meaning is you are invited to explore the state of flow. This card is also reminded that you are an infinitely amazing being who can access collective consciousness, especially when you surrender some control to the greater process or get out of your own way. You have the permission you felt you needed to you have that you have the permission you felt you needed you needed. So go with go within and explore. Wonderful gifts are waiting for you. Well, I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Virgos. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.